Hi, good morning. I'm downstairs in my backyard looking at my uh, container garden. We will be moving soon, hopefully back to um, Virginia so that we can be closer to family. But I currently have in my backyard in Central Florida a container garden. So I just came down here to put my compost in my little homemade uh, compost pile right here. I, I actually have a compost bin over here, but I've abandoned it and I'm doing more of a um, open system or a system that I can see. So, just putting today's uh, compo uh, waste from kitchen scraps and so forth. We have some delivery. So I uh, tore up the cardboard boxes and I'm going to use that as well. This I got from Home Depot, um, this uh, black container, because I do have some larger trees. Um, that is a pear, I'm sorry, peach, the big one. And then I have this uh, avocado tree right here that I wanted to put in a larger container so that they can have more room to grow. But now that we've decided to move, um, get our own... Uh, space, land, and everything. Um, I won't be needing these containers anymore. So I've decided to opt for a different purpose, which is um, uh, just open, um, open uh, compost bin. I literally don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just watching it to see what will happen if I'll start seeing worms and, and things from it. It does have some openings at the bottom, very large openings actually, so that the worms can enter through. I have the general concept of uh, composting, and uh, literally that's enough for me. I don't, I don't need to be perfect at it, I just need to get it started. So we'll see how these break down over time. Um, so this is my um, Cavendish banana and it looks really uh, pathetic, doesn't it? But that's just because you don't know the backstory about this Cavendish banana. So I bought this Cavendish banana from Lowe's and it's been in this pot this whole time. It's basically growing out of compost now because uh, every time I will uh, take the suckers from it. And then when I um, plant, replant it, I just constantly add, um, and it's not even compost, I constantly add just my waste from the kitchen. So you can see there is paper towel, there's paper plates, there's eggshells, um, there is uh, coffee grinds. It's just it's just growing out of uh, <laughs> it's just growing out of kitchen kitchen scraps right now. But this one dwarf Cavendish banana plant has produced one banana tree one banana tree two banana tree tree or I should say three I always have a problem pronouncing my ages three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I have 14 banana plants <laughs> from this one dwarf Cavendish. 
So also that was my plan for uh, this pot because um, I wanted to give them more space to grow so that they can start fruiting because I, I really don't believe that if this uh, banana tree was actually inclined to fruit, I, I think she was mostly just inclined to reproduce and not actually to fruit. But I'm also thinking to myself that if she was inclined to fruit, I don't think this pot would accommodate that. Because the roots for a banana, they're really thick, big roots. So they would need more space. And I'm thinking something like this would be more space. So that's actually my goal is to put one of the bigger ones into this when it breaks down a little bit more. That's my goal. This is my pear, I mean avocado, and it has a deficiency. It definitely has a deficiency on there. So I need to read up on that a little bit more to figure out what type of deficiency this is. Because the, uh, the deficiency, the way it shows up on the leaves, it shows up in the exact same formation and pattern. So it's definitely a type of deficiency, what it means, I, I don't know. But I've not, this is an organic um, avocado. It's basically uh, soil and um, soil and uh, the scraps from my kitchen, which this one is uh, better broken down over time. So what does it need in addition to scraps from my kitchen and soil? It definitely needs something because it has this deficiency on it in it so I need to be able to figure that out this is um, a, a Brogdon avocado that is the type that it is okay so my grand dreams for myself is to actually have an orchard this uh, apple tree from Stark Brothers is the uh, golden delicious i got that a couple days ago put it in a pot and uh, let's watch this and see the leaves actually came it broke dormancy when stark brothers sent this to me these did not break dormancy they were dormant when they came and who did i purchase these from from home depot so because I have dreams of actually having an orchard with many different uh, fruit trees, I thought even though we're not at our location yet, I would get them started because when I get there, I want my trees to be more mature. I'll start them out in pots and when I get to my location, I'll plant them, but they'll be older then. Um, not one of these, no, I should not say that, only two of the trees broke dormancy so this is a dwarf this one is a dwarf um, Fuji apple and this one is a wince apple apple tree they're the only two that broke dormancy this Macintosh apple did not break dormancy this did not come with a tag, but based on my order, it's a cherry of some sort. And this um, three-in-one apple did not break dormancy. I wanted to give this uh, three-in-one to my niece for her birthday. So I have to think of something else to do now. Uh, this Bartlett pear did not break dormancy. It's a dwarf Bartlett. This Dwarf Red Haven did not break dormancy. This Independence Nectarine did not break dormancy. Nor did this Dwarf Moore Park Apricot did not break dormancy. This apricot here also did not break dormancy. 